Hello, we are in the garden. The garden is a wonderful place to use your senses. Um, so we are out here. Miss Wynn is out here and Miss Melon's out here and we are exploring. Our book will be The Sense of Hearing. Miss Keys is the music teacher here at Blake as well and so I was like, I want hearing! I would like to do the hearing one! Um, and I even have a sounds game I would love to play with you a little later. Those sounds are at my house, so I'll have to see if we can record some and you'll listen to a sound and try to see if you can guess what the sound is. We all have five senses. See, I can't really see outside. There you go, I think the book's in. We all have five senses. We use our senses every day, hearing and seeing our senses, tasting and smelling and touching our senses. How do you hear? You use your ears to hear. Everyone touch your ears. Would you touching my ears. Would you point to this girl's ears? Here. Right there. Your ears are on your head. Wiggle your ears for me. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Your ears are on your head. Your ears send messages to your brain. Your brain is in your head. Tap on your head. Tap, 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 tap. Your brain is in there. Your brain tells you what you are hearing. What can you hear? You can hear loud sounds. When you hear a loud sound, do you sometimes cover your ears? Yes. And your ears can hear quiet sounds. When we use our whisper voices and we're quiet, we can hear quiet sounds. You might be able to hear we have um, a wind chime out here, and when we're quiet, we can hear the wind chime playing beautiful music. Your ears can hear sounds that are close. Your ears can hear sounds that are far away. Your ears can hear high sounds. Your ears can hear low sounds. Protecting your ears. Oh my goodness, it's so important to protect your ears, but why? Do not stand very close to loud sounds. Why? It can damage your ear. It can hurt it. Do not put things in your ears that do not belong there. Only let a grown-up do anything like, yes, you're, you should not put anything, they said anything smaller than a pinky into your ears. So, helping people hear. Some people do not hear well. They read hand signs. Some people need hearing aids to hear. This right here is a hearing aid. It's a special tool that helps someone re um, hear. So, let's name the parts you use to hear. Point to where the labels should go. So is this one the ear, or is this one the ear? Which one? Oh, you know which one is the ear, right? This is the ear, and this is the brain. So, let's look over the words we know. The brain is the part of your body that helps you think, remember, feel, and move. A hearing aid is a small machine that helps people hear. Hearing aids fit inside and behind the ear. Protect. Protect means keep something or someone safe. Your parents help protect you. Sense. Something that helps you smell, see, touch, taste, and hear things around you. In Montessori, we have um, one of our categories is called sensorial. And of course, sensorial is all sorts of things that have to do with tasting, touching, smelling, all of those. And so even part of your fun activities you're doing at home 
anything where you are using your senses, that's a sensorial um, activity. And so that's a wonderful thing to get to do at home, especially this week. We miss you.